We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. their natural curiosities, mm -hmm. but then also like throwing in a few things because we don't have as much exposure right mm -hmm. now. So I feel like that's something I've been able to do, we've been able to do really well is still maintain their sense of like curiosity for other cultures and, and adventure even though we are at home a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't wanna have like a well laid out specific activity type of plan, but I do want to keep good documentation of how we're moving through things. Really, honestly, I feel like this is all part of us learning to enjoy the smaller pieces of the journey. We are doing geography studies right now, and we're all about being exposed to different cultures in different parts of the world. So, um, I feel like games like these really help us to drive that home. So while the kids play with the um, detective agency, I thought we could go through some of our viewers, um, where they are in the world and scratch mm -hmm. them off of our maps. I thought maybe we could paint a few of the flags for some of the um, celebrations around the world that we'll uncover. I found this one book and uh, at first I wanted to get all of these books, you know, that we could go through all these celebrations, but I found one good book and I felt like that was a better representation of how we plan homeschool and life is when I find one thing and I really narrow in focus on, that. focus on that thing. So I found one book that we could read through and really talk about some of the celebrations around the world and um, see if we can add them to our calendar for 2021. So we're heading on a morning walk. This is really distracting normally we take our morning walks just in a little circle right in the front of our house but every now and then we like to head out to a bike trail that's near our house my job as their mom and their teacher to keep that sense of adventure alive and um, just little things that I do in our everyday but all that to say we're gonna head off for a morning walk a little extended fall morning walk before we get started with our day of exploring different parts of the world at home and we want to say a big thank you to our friends over at Osmo for partnering with us on this plan and homeschool with us series um, and I think it's ending all right because we are all about this adventure around the world even if you have to start at home complete disarray that's how you know you're having a great homeschool day celebrations are in full swing around here and so we're gonna learn about celebrations around the world so I found this book let's celebrate special days around the world 
Spring Festival in China. Carnival in Brazil. New Year Festival in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Dia de los Muertos in Mexico. Diwali. We're gonna add all of these to our calendar of special days. <laughs> our calendar of special days. Okay, so the kids are currently eating lunch, and I just finished putting our calendar of special days up on the chalk wall. It's time for a little bit of detective agency. They're gonna play, and I'm gonna do what I do best, document. <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> we keep a running list of our friends like, like the, the people, people that watch us yeah the people that watch us and where you guys are in the world so it's time to find you on the map okay so who did we have let's play school floor you know family five we are from the bronx new york Celia from California. Kendra is from Nova Scotia, Canada. Nina is from Hawaii, Canada. Anna is from Dubai. Dubai is. Ashley is in Indiana. We have Stephanie from St. Louis, Missouri. I'll do that. Here. <laughs> It is hard. Okay, Johannesburg, South Africa. Ugh. Mexico, Africa, Brazil, Arkansas, Nairobi, Kenya, Germany. She did Oklahoma. Nevada. I know Auntie Carmen watches us in Virginia. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do next is grab a couple of my printables um, for the kids to pick a celebration in order to start filling out a geography report. And then we are going to do a little flag painting from the celebration that they selected. And they're gonna have to do their own little research on the celebration that they chose. I just kinda try to add a few things while they are playing. This is the aftermath of my chalk situation. My little basket full of chalk. I normally use Q-tips with a little bit of water. <laughs> Hi friends. So we're talking about as my detective today. <laughs> so I was on detective agency. Well, it's a detective agency, but it's around the world. You're in the detective office, and people bring in cases, and there are four thieves. Doctor Who, Toki. I think it's Novius. Novius and Misha. Mm -hmm. So there are cases, they come to the agency, and you can search for different stuff on the map. This is New York. We've been there. Beijing, China. We haven't been there. Do you want to go to China? Last time you said you wanted to go to China because you wanted to eat the... Dumplings? Yes. Nice. We have France, Sydney, Australia. <laughs> We have Rio de Janeiro. De Janeiro. De Janeiro. Brazil. And finally, Cairo, Egypt. And then we have Osmotan. It's not a real place. And then this is the, the world. 
You go to Amelia the pilot and she'll take you around the world to where the thieves have gone. One of these maps will put them in the Osmo mirror. They ask you to find a specific person or a place on the map. And when you find it, you put your magnifying glass on it. And then you just see where the thief goes or just a person who can help you. And sometimes she doesn't know anything but knows someone who does. So my favorite map is either Cairo, Egypt, or Paris, France. Oh yeah, I think my favorite is Paris, France. I think my favorite is Paris, When you're trying to find the thieves, they give you little facts. And at the end, when you figure it out, or catch one of the thieves, then you get a reward. Sometimes, if the thief's caught, then it gives you a piece of the thing that he stole, like a piece of pizza or the wheel of a bike. I learned a lot of things. I've learned about this before in Rio de Janeiro. Christ the Redeemer. It's illegal to climb the statue, but people sometimes do it anyway. Do you see familiar places? Familiar places like Christ the Redeemer, the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, the pyramids in Cairo, Egypt. I like the animation. I like the way that they use real pictures for the background. It looks realistic, but it's not a real picture. Yeah! The only pictures that don't the only pictures that aren't like realistic are in the ones in Oswald Town. A shelf, like three three stacks of shelves on your left. Once you get one, it goes on the shelf. The rewards that they give you. Find the people he needs to find to give him clues to find the thief. Sometimes they go to different locations in the town. And sometimes they go to different places in the world. I think it's really good for kids because you can learn about the world, what's in it, and why is it so special. One time we were investigating what we were trying to find. After we found it, it did an auto read about it. They tell you different facts about the places that you're going? Yes. Oh, cool. Bye! Alright friends, time for a little coffee break and cleanup time. <laughs> I love these things, my coffee actually stays warm. Aside from my hair deciding that it had no chill, we had a really good day. I mean, all things globes, maps, anything that remotely reminds us that we will one day get to travel the world um, as the Falco family, hopefully sometime very soon. We loved sharing all of the places that you guys have said you are from scratching your homes off the map. Is that the right way to say it? <laughs> so now I'm probably going to grab all of the blankets, maybe make the kids some warm apple cider, drop in a couple of cinnamon sticks, cozy up on the couch, and enjoy the rest of this rainy fall day. A major thank you to our friends over at Osmo for partnering with us on this Plan and Homeschool with Us series. We had so much fun uh, checking out all of the new things and I'm sure we are going to be playing with it well into the days ahead. So make sure you are following along on our Instagram. Savannah and Kendall say they have a lot more to say about how uh, the game functions and I would love to share how we ended up incorporating it here and there into our days. I think finding resources, finding companies that make resources that you really enjoy and honing in on those instead of having an abundance of resources that more often than not end up frustrating and confusing your day. That's kind of one of the major keys for homeschool life and planning that we've learned over the last several years. That's what we do around here. <laughs> Just in case you missed your opportunity to chime in and let us know where you are in the world, where you're watching from. And I'll also leave a link to that post so that if you haven't chimed in just yet, you can do that as well. No matter where you are in the world, remember that life is so very full of lessons. So our goal is to live and to learn. Don't forget to subscribe!